The next thing, I want to encourage you to learn to communicate with emotional intelligence. And the beautiful thing about emotional intelligence is that when we are emotionally intelligent beings, we are aware not only of how to um, regulate our own emotions, but we can also help other people regulate their own emotions when they communicate with us. So this is more than just being calm in a, you know, in a less than professional situation where maybe somebody is yelling. It's more than that. Um, it's, it's being able to practice empathy and understand the emotions and perspectives of other people and being able to help them Okay, help them in a meaningful way to regulate their own emotions and behavior. So this is very different than what we learned years ago in therapeutic communication. But if you've not taken any continuing education or continuing professional development courses on emotional intelligence, I would encourage you to do that because this is an excellent skill to have in your back pocket um, and it will help you communicate with better with just about anybody, um, your family members included. So foster and learn emotional intelligence.